Welcome home. It's great to be home. U.S. Representative Morgan McGarvey met with child care advocates who say the industry is facing a cliff when pandemic era federal subsidies expire in March. When you think about any small business, you've got three months left to figure something out. Um, and then you're raising prices for, yeah. for parents. Um, you're dropping your pay uh, for your workforce. Yes. Yep. Um, and you've got to make those plans now. To help, McGarvey says he is co-sponsoring the Stabilized Child Care Act, which will provide $16 billion per year in subsidies for the next five years. It's a cruel thing that parents have to face. It, when you're of a, a certain age, you're trying to get your job and your career started. Uh, and then also, you know, you've got to make sure your kids are taken care of. Just after Congressman McGarvey's roundtable, U.S. Senator Rand Paul met with state lawmakers from the Louisville area to discuss a variety of topics, including public safety. The GOP state lawmakers told Senator Paul about their Safer Kentucky Act, legislation to stiffen penalties on violent crime and help keep people from reoffending. After the hearing last week, as you might imagine, a number of people have reached out, um, a number of my Democrat colleagues in, in the House, and so uh, we are taking those meetings and we're going to continue to uh, adapt and adjust the policy. Senator Paul says he understands people might be wary about some provisions. They don't want their kids going to jail for marijuana or for a drug possession. So they have a mixed view of, of what we should do a crime. But I think as long as it's separated out and you're trying to say, no, no, we want that bad kid that's shooting into houses and it's going to get, you know, it's going to shoot your kid at the bus stop. That's who we want out of your neighborhood. Paul told the group he supports the bill. I don't see any reason why we couldn't get this across party lines. State lawmakers return to Frankfurt on January 2nd. Mark Vanderoff, WLKY News.